Uh, I believe that root ball is the future of America. Um, I think that children should be taught in elementary school to play root ball, and the future will be brighter. Thank you. Welcome to the world famous root bar number one in East Asheville, North Carolina. We're going to explain the art of root ball. And to play root ball, you need your root, you need your ball, you need your steak. And usually a beer, too. Uh, basically, the general premise is to make things hit each other. You throw, throw the root, much like in horseshoes, throw it underhand. So anything that hits each other, you get a point for. If I hit the, st the stake with the root, that's a point. If it leans on the root, that's two points. And if it's a ringer, goes around the stake, that's three points. Now with the ball, I can hit the root or the stake, the root, wherever it lies. And I get points if I hit either one. Well, like I said, if you make contact with anything, that's a point. I made contact with the stake with the ball for one, and then the ball went into the root, inside the root for a two, that's a Saturn. So that would be three total points. Now, if you get the ringer, and then you get the ball in the ring, that's automatic game over, no matter how, uh, how far you're behind or anything. Game you win. Over. Yeah. It's the illustrious game winner. So we're all after. Well, the truth is that I love playing root ball, and one thing I love about it is that root ball brings people together. All right, so the traditional way to hold it is by the thin end down here. This end is weighted. Some people throw it frisbee style, but I'm no good at that. So traditionally, you get a good grip on it, step into it. It's lighter than you think it is, so let the weight do its work. You just got to stay behind this, this stake. Stay behind here. Yeah, anywhere. All right, not bad. So since you missed the stake, now the root's uh, a bigger target and it's a little closer, so I'll go for the root with the ball. But part of the strategy is to get your best angle so you have the chance of, uh, of hitting one or the other of them. You know what I mean? So you can move anywhere around the world behind the stake. The line goes on and on. So you get over here, yeah, and you toss it underhand. And you know, if you miss one, you might get the stake. Can it roll on the ground or does it have to go in the air? Uh, it can roll on the ground, but I recommend putting it about three-fourths of the way in the air because the sand's going to mess you up. You know? I've seen work. There you go. I hit it. It's on the board. <laughs> All right. So the reason I like RuPaul is because it's exercise with your spouse. So if you have an exercise during the day, then when you go out at night, you exercise with your husband or wife. Finger at the stake. 